Why? Hello and welcome everybody. So today I wanted to go ahead and update you guys with the pally progress I have for my character for Project Diablo. Let's just go ahead and jump into this. Don't mind the double audio. I promise it's nice. Let's go to GS1. Actually, let me change that really fast. I love how it automatically updates and puts like the next number. It's actually so nice for spamming memes. Okay, so to go over the character, we are now level 89. I have fully switched over to physical. My gear is pretty scuffed right now. I've got a Horizons Tornado. Um, its damage is extremely inconsistent. Uh, I basically either hit for, let's see, where are we right now? 472 to 3500, so my damage range is all over the place. Um, I also have a tiny bit of Deadly Strike because of my Gullimans. In my Gullimans face, I have 15% uh, Deadly Strike, so that's pretty nice as well. The only reason I'm using the Horizons Tornado, we also got lucky with a slam. Uh, we corrupted it and got three sockets. So that fits really well. We put two dulls for the enhanced damage and then one shale, I think, to cap my attack speed with fanaticism. I've got a nice corrupt on a laying of hands with 38 life. I'm using a budget lion heart right now. I ended up getting a storm shield, so um, this was a pretty lucky find. The storm shield gives us a ton of cold res. It's not as good as like a, I think it's called Herald of Zacharum, but it's what we have right now and I'm saving my currency to buy uh, a Zod rune. I have a 15% superior Berserker Axe. We're going to six socket with, I forgot the, the quest, and then from that I can make an Ethereal Breath of the Dying. So I get to go from this piece of crap, essentially, right to an Ethereal Breath of the Dying. So I'm really excited for that. But I wanted to go ahead and just show you guys my character in progress. So we are still a, a Zeal build. And my stats, I'm way too high in Dexterity right now, but that's because I just got so much gear with... Uh, decks on it essentially when I get my new weapon the breath of the dying It's gonna also have a stat roll on it of like 10 decks minimum. So I get to get an extra like probably 70 points or so that I get to put into Vitality so that's gonna be really nice The Merc currently has <clears throat> Vampire's gaze Leviathan Hand of Brock, Reaper's Toll, which has amp damage on it. And then he's just got some boots with Leech on them right now. And he's got a String of Ears. Uh, his String of Ears actually is corrupted with Block Chance. Our Merc is a hero. We basically joust into a pack, and the Merc applies amp damage, and then we just kind of wreck it. Without the Merc, we're pretty, pretty much nothing. Until we get our weapon. When we get our weapon, we'll be solid. Our amulet's the uh, Seracan's Chance, and then I just have like a rare ring here for Plague Turn. It's just basically for resist right now. I really have to replace this with like a min max damage ring, I think, or maybe. I'm not really sure. There's a. I think there's a Immortal King set ring in this, which is actually really good. And then Raven Frost with super attack rating on the Corruption, along with uh, Cannot Be Frozen, which is really nice. Mr. Cows, where are you? I pump in a map, but we clear maps way too slow unless it's like the cow map. And oops, Daisy, here we go. Even then, it's not exactly very fast. I'm probably going to respect to Dragon Den, depending on how long I play this season for. I tried out Magic the Gatherings, or Magic the Gathering Legends, and I really did not enjoy it very much. So I'm probably going to be playing this season a little bit longer than expected. Which is kind of cool, because I'm actually really enjoying myself. I have to say, the game got a lot more enjoyable when I got into mapping content. I'm not really sure why, but I really liked it. It's exciting seeing all the, the different build variety as well within the classes. I feel like for melee, if I were to actually like continue more on the melee side, I mean, I'm still definitely going to make my Ethereal Breath of the Dying and see like how I like this, but I don't know. I feel like I'm really limited by clear speed, but I respect that melee can be so tanky with the sustain, and I can understand them being like really good for Ubers for that reason. But I definitely would want to try like Whirlwind Barb, I think. 
and see how that feels. Oops. One of the most satisfying feelings, though, is definitely just grabbing a shit ton of mobs and just jumping into them. But, like, if I was a cold sork, they'd all be dead already. Cold sork would just shoot the frozen orb right into the pack, right? That's why I'm curious for Dragon Den slash Aura Den because you're basically just running through with your auras. Um, but I know they're really expensive to get started, which kind of sucks. Oh, here we go. Ooh, a might pack. Okay, I'm gonna try to pull them over here with the Merc. Man, the Worldstone shards have been very enjoyable in this mod. We pretty much slam everything we find that's not a weapon, because I know a lot of people like to socket some high-end weapons with the quest. Actually, no, we've been slamming weapons too. We probably shouldn't be slamming them as much, but it's just such an addiction. And for those of you guys who don't know what it is, a uh, Worldstone Shard is essentially a Vol Orb from Path of Exile. Uh, there's so many different things that can happen with it, which is pretty cool. these grand charms. Nope. I did get some pretty okay charms. We have one plus offensive aura skiller. Uh, I'm pretty sure combat is better, but since I do want to go dragon den at some point, uh, I'm just gonna, I think, stick with Offensive Aura for Conviction, possibly, I think it is. This one's pretty nice. 9 attack da or nine max damage with 53 attack rating. I have a lot of all res charms, too. I think I got pretty sick lucky on the all res charms. Like, 3 decks, 8 all res. Where's the other one here? This one's pretty nice, too. Max damage attack rating. One dex, four all res. Lightning damage all res, although lightning damage doesn't really help me. Alright then. 
uh, that's pretty much about it. I just wanted to update you guys with what is going on with the character. Hopefully I'll have another video in the next couple days whenever I trade something for a Zod rune. I do have a pretty nice rainbow facet that we found. And I've also got the pure demonic essence. So hopefully I can get a Zod rune because I'm so close to crafting up this. Uh, and then that will basically allow me to figure out if I like playing melee or not, because that's going to be the biggest damage upgrade I could essentially possibly get. And then if I don't like the playstyle of it, it's farm for Dragon Den or reroll into something else. All right, then. You guys have a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember, if you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget, you can catch me streaming live every day but Sundays at twitch.tv slash box. Have a great one, everybody.